that music has the ability to heal? What's your healing song? Hello, hello, hello. Can you believe that it's Wednesday already? Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to the Manifest on Purpose show. I am your host, Kimberly. I help you transform your mind so that you can create the best version of yourself. Since it is Wednesday, this is Wednesday's meditation, but today it's going to be a little special. It's going to be all about collective peace, and I have a special message about peace today. Thank you so much for returning. Thank you if this is your first time here. Thank you for bringing your friends and family along. And thank you for subscribing here and on the website at manifestonpurpose.net. The God in me loves the God in you. Here's a few updates before we start the show. Are you manifesting your best life? Don't go into 2023 with the same stuff that held you back in 2022. Get to the bottom of it. Leave the weight behind and discover new solutions to help you manifest the best version of yourself. Let's have a conversation to determine where you are in your life right now versus where you want to be and how I can help you get there. Book your free discovery session today by clicking the link in the description. Auto suggestion, anyone? The best way to offer suggestion for your desires to the subconscious mind is through auto suggestion. Sure, I get it. You just don't have the time to do it every single day. No problem. Why not do it while you sleep? Click the link in the description to get a personalized auto-suggestion MP3 that you can play during the time that the subconscious mind is most open for suggestion, right as you're drifting off to sleep. Now that's just like manifesting while you sleep. Exclusive content alert. Are you loving the Manifest on Purpose show? Be on the lookout for limited access content. The first conversation has already been released. Click the link in the description for overcoming abandonment. Thanks for listening. Now let's get back to the show. Luther Vandross, Don't Want to Be a Fool, 2003 was the year. Luther Vandross, in case you don't know, was one of R&B's music best artists during the 80s and 90s. I love music. It has a healing quality for me. Luther Vandross, Don't Want to Be a Fool, helped me walk away from an abusive relationship. I just so happened to purchase the artist's greatest hit CD just before the faded weekend getaway trip. As the weekend came to an end, so did the relationship. An early morning squabble is what did it for me. For some reason that morning, the words I had been hearing about me for three years became so clear. I understood them clearly and wondered how I had become so numb to them until that morning. A friend of mine used to tease. When you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, real change begins to take place. With a new sense of self-confidence, I left that part behind me. I got in my car and began the long trek home, alone. Well, not exactly alone. I had Luther with me. The first and only song I played on that entire trip home was Don't Want to Be a Fool. I cried all the way until I was out of tears. I made a decision that day. On that day, I chose peace. I can remember during those rough times saying to myself, all I wanted was peace. Not knowing then That peace is not something you wish for. It's something you have to create. 
I know this is Wednesday's meditation, but I had an experience this week that threw me off for a few days. I decided to offer this commentary to remind you to protect your peace by setting healthy boundaries in your life. My recent experience was a relationship also, but not a romantic relationship. The person just decided they were going to send me a message and let me have it, I guess. Because it was a message, I had time to choose how to respond. I chose a few replies, typing them in, only to delete them later. I decided not to even respond. It wasn't worth the time and it was not worth the energy. I did what I normally do in these types of situations. I took note of it and I saw it for what it was. It was a distraction. It didn't help that this was a late evening message either. The next day was just all off sorts. I went out and there was all types of things going on around me. One driveway was blocked due to an altercation. There was a big altercation in the store and all the traffic. These are just a few highlights of my day. I began to wonder, yo, what's up with the day? It then dawned on me that I had allowed my peace to be disturbed. I discussed the other day about loving people on a soul level. What I failed to mention, this experience has confirmed it. Not everybody is on that level yet. And that's when it becomes important to set boundaries and to create peace for yourself. You matter. You deserve to be honored and respected. All I'm really saying here is, if a person can't offer you peace, they don't value you at all. Don't allow them in your space. Set boundaries. You don't have to get on their level. You don't have to get nasty. Sometimes it's best to walk away to preserve your peace. And I know what you're thinking. A lot of people think that that's the weak move walking away. But really, is it worth your time and effort to stoop to their level? Recently, I was reminded of a time back in 2003 that I had to drive away. It helped me gain clarity of my most recent experience. I observed that even though I didn't respond, the energy of the incident still showed in reality. What grounded me during that experience is, yep, you guessed it, thinking of the declaration I made all those years ago not to be a fool ever again. To set boundaries, create peace in my life, and protecting it even if it means walking away, driving away, running away, or just letting go. So be aware of what you allow others to bring into your space because that energy creates reality. And if you allow it, it's more your fault than it is theirs. Create firm boundaries in your life and stand by them. Boy, that Luther Vandross sure was smooth. His song, Don't Want to Be a Fool, helped me walk away from something that disturbed my peace and today serves as a reminder that boundaries are necessary. Now you know what my healing song is. What is your healing song? I don't know if I can quite call it a healing song, but I do have a healing meditation track for you today. And in this meditation track, I want you to focus on collective peace because not everyone is there yet. And that's something that we understand. And I also want you to focus on the peace in your life. Is anyone in your life disturbing the peace? Is there anyone in your life that maybe need to step back 
or maybe you need to step away from. Come on now, it's not about being selfish. It's about placing yourself first. Let's prepare for meditation. If you are driving, this is not the time to meditate. Please download this and save it for later. And all of you ready to meditate, find your sacred space. Find the space that's comfortable for you, safe, distraction-free, the space in which you can relax and find some peace, the space in which you can focus on your breathing. Enjoy your meditation.
Thank you.